You know that America's favorite cookie has a surprisingly controversial history. At the turn of the 20th century, mass-produced cookies like Fig Newtons, Animal Crackers, and more are now available in grocery stores across the nation. 1898, several of these large-scale bakeries merged to form the National Biscuit Company, now known as Nabisco. 1908, finally, the chocolatey, creamy cookie we all know and love is invented. Of course I am talking about Sunshine Biscuits' legendary high drops. Uh, what? All right, so in 1902, Jacob Luce, a member of the Nabisco Board of Directors, left to create his own cookie factory in Kansas City with his brother. He calls his new product Sunshine Biscuits, and soon they're released what they tease as an exotic English biscuit, calling it Hydrox, by combining the names of the two molecules that make up water, hydrogen, and oxygen. Let's be real for a second. This might have been a good name for an industrial strength toilet cleaner, but it is an atrocious name for a cookie. Still, Sunshine managed to cultivate a modest market for its chemically named cookie in the Midwest. Then in 1912, at a factory in Manhattan, the National Biscuit Company quote unquote invents a new cookie which they describe as two beautifully embossed chocolate flavored wafers with a rich cream filling does that sound familiar to you yes nabisco calls this very blatant ripoff drum roll please the oreo why well honestly it's a mystery some people think it's a play on the french word for gold others think it comes from the ancient greek word for mountain still others believe that it's related to the latin word for a laurel bush or a mashup of the words cookie and cream the fact of the matter is no one actually knows but one thing is for certain, this copycatting ignites a fierce rivalry between the National Biscuit Company and Sunshine Biscuit that would last for most of the 20th century, even though it's less of a rivalry and more of a processed sugar beatdown. Anyway, 1923, Oreo places ads on trolley cars promoting the now infamous Oreo Twist. It's estimated by the company that more than 50% of Oreo eaters twist open their cookies before snacking. There really are two types of people in this world after all. Also in 1923, Jacob Lewis, inventor of the Hydrox, passes away. He's still very rich and does not live to see the Oreo with a bigger supply, superior marketing, and an obviously better name, send his Hydrox into cookie obscurity. Over the next several decades, Oreos become one of the most popular cookies in America. So much so, most people start to assume that Hydrox is the knockoff and not the other way around. Still, Hydrox holds a small market share, especially with Jewish snackers, as Hydrox are kosher and Oreos still have lard in their cream. Ew, that's disgusting. 1974, in the first major Oreo development in decades, Nabisco releases the gluttonous double stuffed Oreo, making us all wonder if we could ever go back to the single stuff and still be happy. I know I can't. And for the record, double stuffed Oreos are actually about 1.8 times the stuff of normal Oreos. Sorry to ruin that illusion for you. Also in 1974, Dick Nixon is in peace. Turns out he was a crook. Sorry to ruin that illusion for you. 1985, Dairy Queen launches what is arguably the best fast food dessert in existence, the Oreo Blizzard. In case you didn't know, there is no Hydrox Blizzard. Obviously. Also in 1985, Oreos are now the best-selling cookie in the world, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, with more than 6 billion cookies sold per year. 1996, Keebler buys Sunshine and rebrands Hydrox to Droxies. Unfortunately, no one really cares. 1998, Oreo takes the lard out of their cream, making their cookies kosher, and thus eliminating the one advantage Hydrox, <clears throat> excuse me, Droxies, had. 2003, Droxies are officially discontinued. Most people don't notice. 2015, a new company buys Hydrox and re-releases them in all their poorly named Named glory 2018 peeps oreos debut and allegedly will turn your poop pink and trust me on this one the juice is not worth the squeeze here in 2020 you can find oreos and ice cream churros popcorn and in a kaleidoscope of sometimes offensive flavors including cookies and cream which honestly does not make a ton of sense because aren't oreos already cookies and cream what is this an oreo flavored oreo anyway probably jack from a smaller company's design but ultimately perfected in taste and expertly marketed by nabisco we can't hold it against you too much oreos because with half a trillion sold you truly are america's favorite cookie just stay away from the peeps flavor okay we don't need it thanks for watching everyone i hope you learned a little something today make sure you subscribe to our channel like this video comment with the topic you want us to hit next and share it with a loved one i'm sure they would like to hear from you